Look at the broadness of what they offer, what we've seen here today. Okay, we've got a Y-axis lathe and we're gonna talk about the twin spindle in a minute. We've also got the RLX models, the small uh, the, the small bed mills, the, the prototracks. We've got the linear rail vertical machining centers, the, uh, the heavy duty VMCs, the five axis UMC, and of course now the twin spindle machine. So they've got a lot to offer. Paul, a very busy morning at XYZ Nuneaton showroom. We've got lorries and machines coming in and out. We've got people being trained um, on the machines. But today we want to focus on the new SS65 twin spindle machine that they've recently launched. Um, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with it. Tell me all about it. Well, it is. It's a machine that was launched uh, sort of mid to back end of last year. There's models available in stock that you can go and see in Devon. The closest machine to it here at Nuneaton is the CT65. And when I say the closest machine, I mean in terms of the capacity of it and also the fact this has got a Y-axis, which is like what the twin spindle machine has. But you're right, got to pick up on trucks, picking machines up. You know, what a start to the year XYZ have had. And also from talking to both Nigel and Martin recently, um, what a year uh, 2021 was. So, uh, you know, it's it's onwards and upwards with Matt just around the corner. I want to focus on this twin spindle, but now they have got a range now that you can certainly grow into. Now, the twin spindle, why have they brought this to market? Why, why um, do they believe that they need this machine to, to comp complement the rest of their range? Look at what happened with the five axis, the UMC. They bought that in four years ago. Last year, they had their best year of sales with that machine. Year on year, when people get to recognize the XYZ are a five axis supplier, people are beginning to buy into to them as a provider of that product. The twin spindle is the next venture for a turning center. Yeah, we've got a single spindle, a Y axis here behind us, um, and they've been doing that for some time. They've tested the market, they've tested the technology, they've got customers that um, have got more than one of these machines, multiples of them. The next step is twin spindle. What does it mean? Well, it means for their users that they can now machine parts in one operation. It means parts, uh, you know, raw billet goes onto the machine and a finished part comes off. Exciting times now. I'm guessing it's 65 mil bar capacity uh, in, with the name of the machine. Can you give us any more specifications on the machines and, and a bit about the capability? Yeah, Siemens touchscreen control, as you said, a 65 mil bar, 100 mil Y axis on the machine, you know, powerful spindle motors, 4,000 RPM main spindle, 5,000 on the sub for finishing those parts. It comes with things, or there are options like, you know, your swarf conveyor, your parts catchers, your tool setting eyes. All of these things, front and back spindle, are available with this model. Some of the most, um, some of the most, uh, you know, uh, areas that stand out to me would be things like the control system, the Siemens shop term, which allow uh, manufacturers to program at the machine very, very easily and also control the manufacturing process so they don't have to worry too much about that learning curve, having collisions and things like that. They can they can use that, that control to be able to assist them. Because the big thing, don't forget with XYZ, is that they've sold machines in the past based on their control technology, their ease of use. We've got operator training happening here today at Nuneaton. Uh, engineers buy into this, operators want ease of use and they want the transition between you know, lower forms of technology into, into new modern day machinery to be as simple as possible. And that's what XYZ can do with this uh, twin spindle machine. So I'm assuming the transition from the, the sing, single spindle lathe to the twin spindle is going to be seamless for people or engineers that may not be aware um, that they've launched this new product to market. You know, where can they go and see it? How can they go and have a look at it and get a demo? Well, there is machines currently available from stock in Devon. Um, I believe one is coming here to Nuneaton. I mean, you, I keep saying it, but you see machines coming in and out all the time because they're selling them. So there will probably be a machine here in the near future. I'm sure at Mac 2022, there will be a machine as well. Uh, you can go on their website to check it out. You can watch uh, videos that we've done with Mark and Nigel in the past on this twin spindle machine. But I think where it will be good for XYZ is at the moment, they may have lost business to companies or in companies that wanted twin spindle technology because they couldn't provide it. But now they can, so they can buy their vertical machining centers, their five axis machines, their bed lathes or their flatbed lathes, uh, oil country machines, and now also a multi-axis 
uh, turn in centre with the ability to uh, machine in one hit. It's certainly a company that's going from strength to strength with new machines being introduced to their range, new facilities opening up all the time yeah. uh, across and, the country. And don't forget their clearance sale. There is a clearance sale at the moment on some machines. As new products come in, um, they move uh, some of the existing equipment to make way for them. That's happening here as well. I know there's a, a, a Heidenhainer um, vertical machining center, some linear rail VMCs available. Uh, one of the, the big, uh, I think it's the RLX machine available, uh, X-Stop. There's also five axis here, which is X-Stop. Plenty of machines, plenty of uh, showrooms to visit, as well as their new one in Scotland.